So I am watching the Netflix series, Never Have I Ever. And I think it's a pretty funny show. If you have not watched it, I would suggest that you do. But I want to talk about season two when, spoiler, okay, if you haven't gotten to this part or if you're planning to watch it, spoiler, Davy's mom starts dating someone, okay? Um, I'm going to give you a second to click off if, if, you, if you want to, okay? So she starts dating Dr. Jackson, who is a black man who is also a dermatologist. And this got me thinking about my own love life, y'all. Like, I've been meaning to make a YouTube video about this for a while. And then this was just the perfect segue into it. I've had the misfortune of noticing is the severe lack of prospects the higher you go in your you know your education and let me explain what I mean by that so I went to college for science I went to undergraduate school for science then I went to graduate school for science and soon I'll be going into medicine right and something that I have noticed is the severe lack of black men okay now I thought it was bad in undergrad but you'll be shocked y'all it managed to get worse in graduate school like there was like two black men in undergrad then there was like zero in grad school I kid you not right if you are a black woman who only dates black men and you're going and getting an education y'all this is a serious discussion that needs to be had because the dating prospects are going to be slim to none this is the other thing that has to be faced. First, I was speaking as a black woman, but now I'm about to speak as an African-American woman. Like I stated, there's not a lot of black men that hire you go in your studies and your career. But out of those black men, pretty much none are African-American men. You know, I get a lot of flack from the African-American community on here because I've dated an African guy in the past. I told y'all, I, you know, I met a Kenyan guy in class. We ended up dating and stuff, right? But the fact of the matter is, there wasn't any African-American men to date. That is the reality. Say you got five black guys in the, the science department, probably all five of them are going to be African. Maybe, if you're lucky, one might be African-American. I'm going to tell y'all the honest to God truth. What I've seen in my studies, okay? The majority of black people... Even, mm, it's not as bad in undergrad. In undergrad, there's a decent number of African-Americans. I would say, I would say in undergrad, African-Americans outnumber Africans and Caribbeans. But in graduate school, Africans and Caribbeans outnumber African-Americans. And when you go like to medical school and stuff, yes, Africans and Caribbeans outnumber African-Americans. I will say that the numbers of African-American women though are better than the numbers of African-American men. Like, let me speak on me specifically going to the University of Michigan for graduate school, okay? So in my program, my cohort, there was like 14 of us maybe. It was a small program. There were two black people and we both happened to be African-American women. We were both from Detroit, okay, okay. I went to Renaissance, she was a cast tech. But um, there was no there was no black men at all. Um, Thinking about the chemistry department, um, I was not in the chemistry department. My program that I studied was not chemistry, but I worked in the chemistry department because I was a teaching assistant for like the chemistry labs, right? Thinking about the chemistry department, there was only a few black TAs and I think I was the only African-American TA. Like there was, there was an African girl and I'm pretty sure it was like, it was like, uh, like four or five Africans. I was the only African-American, if I'm not mistaken, if my memory serves me correctly. Honestly, I'm here to, you know, bring up an actual issue in the African-American community. In no way am I putting my people down because, of course, I know what we've been through. Literally, as recently as when my parents were alive, we were being denied entry to school because of the fact that we were African-American. So I'm not putting anybody down for not being in school because I understand. I understand the heights we have to climb to get there, right? But I'm bringing up a very real issue when it comes to African-American women dating as we go higher and higher in our education. First of all, there's not a lot of African-Americans at all. Like I said, when you in like higher education, um, say you got 10 black people, a good eight of them is going to be African or Caribbean. Two is going to be African-American. And those two will probably both be African-American women. Like, it's, it's, it's slim pickings, y'all. It really is. There's not going to be any African-American men. 
And like I said, y'all get on YouTube talking crap about me because I dated a Kenyan man in college. But the question is, where were the African-American men? Because there wasn't a lot of y'all. Now, like I said, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because I said there was a decent number of African-Americans in undergrad. In fact, like African-Americans probably outnumbered Africans and Caribbeans in undergrad. Definitely so. Definitely so. But, but there was a very stark like polarity in what those African-Americans were majoring in. So even though African-Americans outnumbered Africans and Caribbeans overall, you know, across all fields of study, within science, Africans and Caribbeans outnumbered us. That is a fact. When you went up in them science buildings and you came across a black person, nine times out of 10, or maybe like nine times out of 10 is pushing it for undergrad. I would say like seven times out of 10, six times out of 10 maybe, it will be an African or a Caribbean. The vast majority of African Americans were majoring in shit like criminal justice and communications. Most of us was not in the science department. So even though, like I said, we outnumbered them overall within the science department, they outnumbered us. Like y'all, I'm not even like, you know, I'm bringing this up for a reason. Cause you know, y'all like to make fun of me for dating whoever, but Shit, I mean, like, what what choice do I have? It's either an African or a white man if I want to date somebody in the same field of study as me. Now, again, my point here is not to make fun of somebody or talk down to somebody because they didn't go to college or they didn't major in whatever. That's not my point. Because as I stated, African-Americans, we've been through a lot. We got every excuse in the goddamn world for why we not in certain places, right? But a lot of y'all are not looking at the, the reality, the honest to God truth, the fact that African-American women are forced to date out if they want to date somebody on their level. A lot of the times, there's simply no African-American men who are really like making shit move. It's, it's the reality of the fact. So y'all can sit here and talk shit about me all y'all want to, but I mean, she, I hope at some point, I hope at some point what I'm saying sticks to somebody and somebody out there get their shit together.